In this video, I would like to show you how easy it is to design a complete basic layout. This layout will be a simple ending sequence in the game of nine ball. I'm going to start by placing the eight, nine, and cue ball on the table by pressing the eight, nine, and zero keys. Next, I'm going to place the balls in the desired positions by holding down the left yellow button and moving my finger on the trackpad to drag the balls to their locations. Now I'm going to create the pocket lines pointing to the desired pockets for the 8 and 9 ball by left clicking the object ball and dragging the resulting arrow to the desired pocket. Then I'm going to left click to end the line. Now I'm going to create an aiming line from the cue ball to the 8 ball's ghost ball by left clicking the cue ball and dragging the resulting arrow to the 8 ball's ghost ball. Then I'm going to left click to end the line. Now I'm going to create the desired position target for the nine ball by pressing Control plus the C key. This will give me a circle target in the middle of the table. Then I'm going to move it into position by holding down the left yellow button and moving my finger on the trackpad to drag the target to its desired location. Next I'm going to resize the target by right clicking it and choosing the resize menu option. Then placing the cursor over any of the selection handles I'm going to hold down the left yellow button and move my finger on the trackpad to drag the selection handle inward to make the target a bit smaller. Then I'm going to left click to end the resizing process. Next I'm going to label the target by right clicking on it and selecting the add label menu option. Then I'm going to delete the default text by pressing the delete key multiple times and then typing T1 for the new label. Then I'm going to left click to end the labeling process. Now it's time to draw a track line that shows the path the cue ball will take to get to the target. First, I'm going to right click on the cue ball and select track from the menu. Next, I'm going to drag the resulting arrow to the eight balls ghost ball. Next, I'm going to left click, which will give me a new connected line segment and I'll drag it over to the side rail. Then I'm going to left click, which will give me a new connected line segment and I'll drag it over to the target and double click to end it. The next object I'm going to add is an aiming ball to show how to execute the shot by pressing Control A. Next, I'm going to move it into position by holding down the left yellow button and moving my finger on the trackpad to drag it to its desired location. Now all that's left is to adjust the cueing location and speed indicator. Both are adjusted by holding down the left yellow button and moving a finger on the trackpad to drag it to its desired location. The last step in the design of the layout is to save the layout by pressing S, which will bring up the save screen. Then I'm going to type in the name and press the enter key to save the layout. Now let's see the new shot being executed. Looks like it works great. Creating your own layouts in the ICA training system is quick and easy to do. There are many more design tools available to use in ICATS. You are only limited by your imagination.